Nous avons tous vu ici les balles dans le corps de nos enfants. Pour ceux qui ne savent pas, c'est des centaines de trous dans leur corps. Savez-vous qui fabrique certaines de ces douilles La société Chedit, une société franco-italienne. Welcome to a special edition of The Observers, part two of our investigation into the use of shotguns to repress the ongoing protests in Iran. In part one, we documented the widespread use of shotguns by all of Iran's security services, including the feared Basij militia. Iranians sent us photographs of spent cartridges they had recovered from the protests. At least 13 of them bore the logos of the French-Italian manufacturer Shedit. Now that is an apparent violation of this EU sanction, which bans the export directly or indirectly of equipment which might be used for internal repression in Iran, including firearms, ammunition and related accessories. Iranians around the world have reacted with fury to our revelations. Protesters in Tehran are spraying graffiti on the walls asking why it's okay to export shotgun shells under the embargo, but not vital medicines like flu shots. Here in France, Iranians want answers. Nous, Franco-Iraniens, demandons une enquête contre la société Chedid. Nous demandons que tous les responsables des ventes de douilles au Basidji soient traînés en justice. The revelations were made by journalist Ershad Alijani of France 24 and RFI's Persian service. He has been in regular contact with people inside Iran since protests erupted over the death of Massa Amini in September. Back in October, I came across this photo. It shows a shotgun cartridge that was recovered from protests in Yazd in Iran. If you look at closely, you can see something written on the base, shed it. I contacted the person who took it. He picked up this shotgun shell after a protest in Yazd on 28th September. He gave me the exact location. <laughs> Another person in Tehran sent us a similar cartridge, this one with 12 written on the bottom four times and four stars. I googled Shedid and I found this. It turns out Shedid is a French and Italian ammunition maker. Here's their website. You can see their cartridges here with Shedid on the base and here with the 12 star logo. They make empty shotgun cartridges with metal bases and then sell them around the world to other manufacturers who fill them with ammunition. They claim to be the world's biggest manufacturer of empty cartridges. Shedit has factories in France and Italy, but the European Union has an embargo on selling these products to Iran. I wanted to know how these cartridges made in France and Italy end up being used against protesters in Iran. Ershad sent out a message asking Iranians to send in photos of spent ammunition recovered from the protests. His tweet was massively shared. People sent in photos from all over Iran showing all kinds of ammunition. One person found another Shedit cartridge in Mahabad. And a group of activists sent in photos of 10 more from around the country. All in all, 13 Shedit branded cartridges were recovered from protests in eight different cities. One of the people who responded was a member of the Basij militia. He told us that the standard issue for his unit was clear cartridges like these for anti-riot use filled with plastic pellets. But he said that during this year's protests, they have been issued hunting cartridges like these, which contain metal pellets. The United Nations says that metal pellets should never be used for crowd control. But in Iran, they have been. Viewers sent us photographs showing injuries caused by metal pellets known as birdshot, Fired at the head, birdshot has left hundreds of protesters blind. And at least 20 dead. Now it turns out Shedit branded cartridges have been widely available in Iran for years for use by hunters. So what I did was look at hunting firms. Iranian hunters get an annual quota of 100 cartridges, usually an Iranian brand called Shaheen. And it turns out many of these cartridges use shedded components. Take a look at this message from 2014. Hey friends, on the metal caps of the Shaheen cartridges in this year's quota, it's written Shedid, and on the box, it's written Made in Italy.
There were hundreds of messages on the forum referring to Shedit cartridges, dating back as far as 2011. Many of them co-branded with Shaheen, a line of hunting cartridges produced by Shahid Shiroudi Military Industries. That is part of Iran's state-owned AMIG group, which is under embargo by the United Nations, the United States, and the EU. We spoke to five different experts on EU sanctions. They all told us the sanctions apply to shotgun shells and their components, whether they are intended for use by hunters or by the security services. The EU sanctions do apply to shotguns, their ammunition, associated components. There isn't an exemption for hunting or other uses. They also said that Shedid is responsible for ensuring that its products are not sold in Iran, even if they sell them to a third party in a non-European country. It's one thing if a company doesn't know what is happening uh, to its products, um, but the company does know now. And now that it does know uh, that some of its ammunition is being used for repression in Iran, the company should um, investigate, find out what's happened. We asked Shedit repeatedly for comment. They did not respond. Iranian women here in France have taken their complaints to Parliament. We have had the chance to be received in Parliament. Les députés étaient surpris. Ils apprenaient la nouvelle. Ils nous ont promis de remonter l'information au ministère des Affaires étrangères. The French Foreign Ministry told us Shedit had never been authorized to export directly to Iran. They said an investigation is underway. We spoke to one of the MPs. Il y a une enquête qui est à l'œuvre. On essaye d'avoir le maximum d'informations, mais l'embargo n'a pas été détourné. Est-ce que ce matériel a été vendu à un autre pays qui l'a revendu ensuite Ça, je ne saurais vous le dire. That might not be enough for the Iranians. For them and for the experts we spoke to, the EU sanction is clear. Monsieur le député, laissez-moi vous dire qu'une vente soit directe ou indirecte, il y a violation de l'embargo. Le combat ne fait que commencer pour nous. Croyez-moi, nous avons énormément d'énergie. Merci à vous. Femme, vie, liberté. Femme, vie, liberté. Femme, vie, liberté.